Have you ever noticed a small menu item deep down inside a GitHub settings called deploy key and wonder what that was for? Well, today you discover not only what that is for, but also how to use it. This is the 3 Minutes Friday. Hi everybody, welcome back to Carter Dave and welcome to a new episode of the 3 Minutes series. In each episode, I will try and explain a concept, showcase a product or service, or yet teach you something in just three minutes. Short videos, big value, hopefully. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and if you want to learn about DevOps, especially with Azure DevOps and GitHub, just click on the subscribe button below right now and turn on the notifications so you will not miss any other videos like this. Today, we talk about GitHub's deploy keys. What are they for? How to use them? Pros and cons? Let's start the clock and get into it. In your repo, just go to settings and here you have it, deploy keys. Before adding one, let's talk about what they are. Deploy keys work in conjunction with the deployment APIs, which allow you to launch a GitHub hosted project on a server you own. And combined with the status API, you will be able to coordinate your deployments the moment your code is committed to master. And this is when the deploy keys come into the picture because a deploy key is basically an SSH key that grants access to a single repository. GitHub attaches the public portion of that key to your repo directly, while the private part remains on your server. To create a deploy key on your server, first thing to do is running the SSH keygen procedure. You can find this command in the video description. This will create both the private and the public key. You can specify a different name. Next, we need to grab the public portion of the key, which is, as you can see here, stored in the .pub file. If you haven't changed the path, that will be inside a .ssh folder, which is a hidden folder inside your home directory. You can use any tool you want, but for me, I'll just use cat. And last thing to do is just to copy this value. All right, now that we have the key, let's go back to GitHub and add the deploy key. Let's give it a title deploy key for server ABC, and paste here the value of the public key. As you can see here, by default, the key is read-only, which means that can pull data from your repo, but it cannot push anything to your repo. But if you want, you can enable the write access. So this key can also be used to push to this repo. Let's add the key, confirm the password, and here we have it. There you go. So now your deploy key is added to GitHub and can be used to launch your project directly on your server. Finally, let's take a look at pros and cons of this approach. Let's talk about the pros first. First of all, anyone with access to the repository and the server has the ability to deploy the project. And second, users don't have to change their local SSH settings in order to be able to use this. Finally, deploy keys are read-only by default but you can give them write access when adding them to a repo, and that will allow that key to be basically the equivalent of an admin of organization or a contributor in a private repository. If we look at the cons instead, there are two main things. The first one is that deploy keys only grant access to a single repo. So if you have more complex projects that may have many repositories, then this is not the approach for you. The other one is that deploy keys are usually not protected by a passphrase, even though you could, making them easily accessible if the server is compromised. And we're done, let's stop the clock. Today I've definitely stayed within a three minutes limit. And I apologize if you've heard some noise, but there's a strong thunderstorm right now, so sorry for that. Anyway, what do you think about the GitHub's deployment keys? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, there are other ways to launch your GitHub hosted projects on your servers. So let me know if you want me to talk about those in the future. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I see you in the next video here at Coded Dave.